You want a flat case? Okay. I'll come back with you. Come on. Okay. Do you want to play rough? Okay. Oh, no. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the Thinking Crypto channel. I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we cover the crypto news and we interview many of the folks who are building and investing in the asset class. Tomorrow, I will be interviewing Max Kaiser. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, a big warning around Bitcoin's Lightning Network. There's a vulnerability that was discovered by researchers. Here's the headline. Bitcoin could be stolen in Lightning Network attack, warns researchers. The Lightning Network is vulnerable to a flood and loot attack that could drain wallets of their Bitcoin, say researchers. So those of you who don't know what the Lightning Network is, it's essentially a layer two solution uh, where it's its goal is to help Bitcoin scale, to improve the number of transactions per second and to reduce the fees, which is a common issue with Bitcoin. Now, we know Bitcoin's main use case is digital gold, a store of value, but the Lightning Network would help improve its day to day usage. So the Lightning Network adds another layer to Bitcoin's blockchain and enables users to create payment channels between any two parties on that extra layer. These channels can exist for as long as required and because they're set up between two people transactions will be almost instant and the fees will be extremely low or even non-existent now there's a problem here because obviously the researchers uncovered it and the uh bitcoin lightning network developers will have to address it and uh the the attack relies on flooding the network to extend the time frame in which bitcoin can be stolen however silver lining here the findings of the research have been shared with the developers of the three main lightning implementations so that's good they found it and they shared it with the developers versus you know people getting their bitcoin stolen on the lightning network while using it now something to keep in mind the bitcoin lightning network is not uh perfected as yet it's still a work in progress it hasn't gotten the uh, you know global scale adoption so uh, that's a good sign that they're discovering these issues ahead of time, you know, before mass adoption, and they can address it. So who put this together, guys? Who are the researchers? In a research paper titled Flood and Loot, a Systematic Attack on the Lightning Network, researchers Jonah Harris and Aviv uh, Zohar, both of Israel's Hebrew University, found that attackers can exploit a bottleneck in the system to drain wallet of funds. Certainly not good. But like I said, they gave the information to uh, the developers. So in the attack detailed by Harris, a master's student and Zohar, an associate professor, the attacker forces many victims at once to flood the blockchain with claims for their funds. He is then able to leverage the congestion that they can that they create to steal any funds that were not claimed before the deadline. So big loophole there, guys. And let's hope. Uh, they they can uh, fix this. So can the attack be prevented? The researchers found that an attacker has to attack 85 channels simultaneously to make some money. They also show that it's fairly easy for them to find unsuspecting victims. All vulnerable nodes must be uh, excuse me must do is show a willingness to open a channel with an attacker. And uh, they continue here saying. We discover that a vast majority of active nodes, 95, around 95%, are willing to open a channel upon request and they are therefore susceptible to becoming victims in our attack, wrote the researchers. Uh, so how can, how can they solve it? Close the channels earlier, reduce the bottlenecks, make it more difficult for hackers to spam the networks and work out a way to spot hackers before they attack. So there's a solution here. And like I said, they shared the information with the Lightning Network developers. And that's a good sign, guys. Um, and hopefully they can resolve this. But like I said, the good thing is this is not on a mass adoption scale as yet. The Lightning Network has some adoption, but not full scale and still a work in progress. So uh, definitely glad this was flagged very early now moving ahead here guys uh, we had talked about ebang just the other day that they got listed on the nasdaq right uh re really significant because you have crypto companies looking to do ipos and they just did their ipo on the nasdaq well they are looking to launch an offshore exchange so chinese bitcoin miner producer ebang is launching an offshore exchange so we are seeing 
continual investments and building out of exchanges and on ramps around the globe. And this is so significant for the next bull run. One of the major manufacturers of uh, Bitcoin mining equipment hopes launching its own exchange could double total revenue by 2022. So notice, you know, these folks are looking at increased revenue and increased pricing in crypto. They know what's coming and they're getting in and trying to get ahead of the curve here. In an interview with Bloomberg BNN, CFO Chen Li confirmed the Hangzhou based eBank was planning to launch a regulatory compliant crypto exchange that would strictly operate outside of China where the government has cracked down hard on trading platforms. Little else is known about the proposed exchange other than eBank hopes it turns uh, it turned its fortunes around by tapping transaction fees as a constant source of income. eBang's revenue stood at $109 million in 2019, which was roughly a third of what it made in 2018, the tail end of the initial coin offering boom. Overall, the company has reported net losses in 2018 and 2019. And they, of course, just did their IPO. So we're seeing more investments and in building out of services here. And, uh, you know, they are, of course susceptible to market cycles just like we are right in our portfolio you have your bull your bear your accumulation phases now some more bad hacker news here guys and i've talked about you know i, I do see a, a a good a bright future for DeFi. however DeFi 1.0 has a lot of issues and we're seeing hacks coming in and out now from different platforms so hacker drains five hundred thousand dollars from DeFi liquidity provider balancer certainly not good we, uh, we are not aware this specific type of attack was possible. <laughs> wow. So decentralized finance liquidity provider Balancer Pool admitted earlier Monday morning it had fallen victim to a sophisticated hack that exploited a loophole, tricking the protocol into releasing $500,000 worth of tokens. In a balance post, Balancer CTO Mike McDonald said the attacker had borrowed $23 million worth of WE. ETH uh, tokens on ether backed token suitable for DeFi trading in a flash loan from DYDX. They then traded against themselves with Statera, STA, I don't even know what that is, an investment token that uses a transfer fee model and burns 1% of its value every time it's traded. The attacker went between uh, WETH and STA 24 times, draining the STA a liquidity pool until the balance was next to nothing because balancer thought it had some the, the same amount of sta it released w the wt eth that equated to the original balance giving the attacker a larger ma margin for every trade completed wow man there's so much work that needs to be done here and i personally have not messed around with any of these DeFi lending items i am looking into it so certainly will let you guys know if i find something that's secure but it is certainly not looking good um but as always guys version 1.0 right you go back to the internet you go back to websites and web technology version 1.0 had its flaws a lot of hacking a lot of uh, things I knew of people were doing back in the day. So it's a matter of the continued work to perfect them. Uh, but right now, it's not looking very good. Not not safe to put your money. So uh, I am, like I said, testing a lot of things. And I will let you guys know if I find something that's that's uh, good here. So guys, what do you think about this Bitcoin Lightning Network news and, and the uh, other items here? We'll definitely like to hear your thoughts. Leave them below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And thank you all for watching.